Hi friends, we're going to be looking at polynomial long division in this video. So on this very first page, I've just got a reminder of some of our vocab here. When we are dividing, we have the dividend under the house, the divisor is what we're dividing by, and then we get the quotient plus the remainder out of the divisor. So I'll be using those words over and over again. So let's take a look at this old school division problem and we're going to go through the steps. They are the same steps we use in polynomial long division. They are divide, then multiply, subtract, and bring down. So that's what we're going to do straight away. 5 goes into 8 one time. We just divided. Now we're going to multiply. 1 times 5 is 5. And we are going to draw the line and change the sign, which of course means the same thing as subtracting. So 8 minus 5 is 3. And now we will bring down the 4. The key to long division is doing everything as methodically and neatly as possible. 5 goes into 34 6 times, that's division, 6 times 5 is 30, draw the line, change the sign, that enables us to subtract 4 left over, and bring down the 3. 5 goes into 43 8 times, 8 times 5 is 40, draw the line, change the sign, that's 3 left over, and finally bring down the 6, 5 goes into 36, 7 times, 7 times 5 is 35. We will subtract, draw the line, change the sign, remainder 1. 1,687 and 1 fifth. Remember, our remainder is always out of our divisor. So we're going to use those same four steps, and we are going to do long division with this polynomial. So the first thing we have to do is get it set up. So the dividend goes underneath the house. And we need every power of x to be represented. And we've got it. 3, 2, 1, and none. So 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 27x plus 20 is getting divided by 3x plus 4. So same steps, but all we're going to be comparing are these first terms. So 6x cubed divided by 3x to the first is 2x squared. I like to line up my like terms. That's division. Second step, multiply. 2x squared times 3x is 6x cubed. Remember, we're distributing here. 2x squared times the 4 plus 8x squared. And we will draw the line and change all the signs. Changing the signs is what allows us to subtract. 6 minus 6. This first column must cancel completely every single time. 17 and a negative 8 is 9x squared. We divided, we multiplied, we've subtracted. Now we will bring down step number 4. We canceled 1, therefore we will bring down 1. 3x divided into 9x squared is plus 3x. 3x times 3x gives us 9x squared. 3x times 4 plus 12x. Again, draw the line, change the signs. Remember, that is what enables us to subtract when we distribute the negative 1 through. 9 minus 9, that first column must cancel. 27 minus 12 15x, that's subtracting, bring down the plus 20. 3x goes into 15x plus 5 times. 5 times 3x is 15x, and 5 times 4 is 20. And draw the line, change the sign. In this case, we have a zero remainder. So what does that mean? That means that 3x plus 4, the binomial, is a true factor of the dividend. Why? Because there's zero remainder left. Just like 
5 is a factor of 40 because we can divide it without any remainder left. So that is long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Now, secondly, we've got synthetic division. And I like to call synthetic division yo mama's division. Why? Well, you'll see in just a second. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to get our dividend set up because we are missing some powers of x. We've got 4, we've got 2, and we've got 1. So let's rewrite that dividend as 4x to the 4th plus 0x cubed minus 4x squared plus 0x, oh, excuse me, plus 6x plus 0. 4, 3, 2, 1, none. Now our dividend is set up and ready to divide. Now we are able to use synthetic division because your divisor is a degree one binomial. Degree one first degree binomial. Only two terms and x can only be to the first power. That is the only way that we can use synthetic division. And in order to use synthetic division, we are going to set up the box, not a house, and each one of those coefficients will be represented. 4, 0, negative 4, 6, and 0. And this last column is always going to be the remainder. So that guy's the remainder right over there. So here's the deal. We're going to take our divisor, set it equal to 0, and we get x equals 4. So this is the factor that we are going to divide by, positive 4. Now, because we just changed the sign of that, instead of subtracting, we're going to be able to add, which is why I call this yo mama's division, because we're going to multiply and add and multiply and add as we go through the division. The first thing we have to do is bring down the 4, and then we multiply. 4 times 4 is 16, and then we A, add. 0 plus 16 is 16. 4 times 16 is 64. Negative 4 plus 64 is 60. 4 times 60 is 240, 6 plus 240 is 246, and 4 times 246, I better check my multiple. So 246 needs to be multiplied by 4. Let's do that over here. 2, 18, and 984. And then, of course, 984 plus 0 is 984. So really huge remainder here. So what that means is that x minus 4 is not a factor of the dividend if we have a remainder that large. So our quotient, we just divided by x to the first, and our dividend started with 4x to the fourth. So our quotient here is going to be 4x to the third. Remember, remainder x to the, or excuse me, remainder 0, 1, 2, 3. So 4x to the third plus 16x squared, plus 60x, plus 246, plus 984 over x minus 4. So here's our quotient, and here's our remainder over our divisor.